The vast majority of professing Christians are just addicted to church. They don't know Jesus. They feel guilty if they don't go to church. And if they don't belong to a church, their church is their security. But their church has not made any difference in their lives. Because at the same time, they are conformed to this world. They are no different from any other people. They are sinners. They are addicted to sin. They are addicted to the things of this world, to television. And they are conformed to this world. They go to the same places. They wear the same clothes. Most of the women dress like whores. They don't dress like holy women. The men also. They are riddled in debt. And much of the time their church has put them into debt because their church has encouraged them to indebt themselves. To simultaneously also fund the church operations. The churches are kingdoms of this world, my friend. They are building their little kingdom right here. And they are drawing you into them. To support them, to fund them. And they are promising you a salvation of which they themselves have no part. They make you feel guilty when you don't attend church. They use the Bible to condemn you, force you, place you under obligation to support their operations. But they're putting you into bondage. If you know Jesus Christ, my friend, you will be free. You will be free from sin. You will be free from addictions to lust. You will not be conformed to this world. <clears throat> you will be holy. You will not be concerned about what people say of you, about you, and to you. You will only be concerned about Jesus Christ and about His kingdom. Many people are just as addicted to the scriptures, to the Bible. My friend, a knowledge of the truth does not change your heart. Jesus Christ is the truth. And if Jesus is coming to your heart, then you are changed. Then you stop sinning. You do not change an, a criminal by education. And you do not correct a child by education. You whip him. You give him a hiding. And that is how God deals with us also. With his children. If we go wrong, he chastises us. He whips us. So then we change our ways. My friends, the church only wants to enslave you for its own agenda. But it's not setting you free. It's not bringing you into a relationship with Jesus. If you follow Jesus, my friend, you will be free. You will be free from sin. You will be free from lust and addictions. Lust for all the things of this world. Lust for women, for buying, for all the attractions of this world. They will not have an effect on you because you will have your sight set on Jesus Christ. Knowledge wouldn't matter for you because knowledge, knowledge of the Bible, education has become the God of this world. But it has excluded God. It has made Jesus Christ to nothing. But my friend, I want to tell you something today. If you are still a sinner, if you're a slave to sin, then you are on your way to hell, my friend. 
because sin is what separates us from God. You need Jesus, my friend. You don't need church. You don't need an education. You need a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because you cannot be in a relationship with Jesus and keep on sinning. Because God does not cohabit with sin. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And if Jesus lives in you, sin has no place there. The moment you start sinning, Jesus moves out, my friend. And then he will deny you. Because he has no relationship with sinners or with sin. He loves you. But if you prefer sin above Jesus, then you've denied him. Don't think that your church membership or your church attendance will help you to get into the kingdom of heaven, my friend. Don't think that your Bible knowledge will help you get into heaven. And also don't think that your church contribution, your tithes that you pay into that wicked organization will secure your entry into heaven. My friend, the only thing that will matter is your relationship with Jesus. Do you truly love him? Do you obey him? Do you live in a relationship with him? That is what matters. None of these other things. My friend, and if you truly walk with Jesus, you will also find others who truly seek him. There are not many. And with them you will have fellowship. They are the true church, the body of Christ. But that building down the road that wants your money, and that enslaves you and obligates you, and teaches you their doctrines, that's not your friend, my friend. That is a devil's agent. Because anything and anybody that does not bring you closer to Jesus Christ is, is not your friend. That's your enemy. Jesus is life, my friend. Jesus. Nothing. Nobody else. Because if you don't have Jesus, you don't have life, my friend. If you have Jesus, you will be free. You will be free from church. You will be free from sin. You will be free from debt. You will be free from addictions to this world. You will be free from lust. And only one thing will matter to you, my friend. And that is pleasing Jesus Christ. Bringing sinners to repentance. Teaching them the fear of God. While you yourself walk in the fear of God. And seek to please Jesus Christ all the time. He will set you free my friend. Don't be a slave no more. Come to Jesus. Accept him as your Lord. And your master. And he will set you free. He will make you. A child of God. He will change you from a sinner into a saint who does works of righteousness. Not a person who tries to defend his wickedness with scripture. My friend, there is no justification for sin. Those whom the Son of God has set free, they will be free and free indeed. Are you free? Or are you still a slave to church, sin, television, lust, debt, the things of this world? Come to Jesus and he will set you free, my friend, to be a son of God. May Jesus bless you.